Hey everyone, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. Thank you so much for joining me today. If this is your first time uh, joining this channel, please feel a big fat welcome from all of us. We are many all over the world playing together on the table. So I am glad you've decided to join us for a little while today. Hopefully you can stay and play for a while. That'd be great. So this is May, and May is our Corrugated Cardboard Challenge Month. <laughs> so um, what I need to say is Corrugated Cardboard is very delicious, and it can be used for many things. It can be used for texture, uh, both as a texture applier <laughs> and a texture receiver. So in this piece that we're going to create today, uh, it is used as both. I put some on the substrate and I also used some with some paint on it for some texture. So there's a couple of ways that we can use our corrugated cardboard, which is delicious. So thank you again for joining me. Thank you to everyone that leaves comments. You know I appreciate that. All right, enough from me. See you on the table. Here's your project for today. It's a good size canvas, so I have the camera pulled up so you can see all of it. I had a template for my man. Uh, it's a canvas that I repurposed. Acrylic, lots of underpants, some corrugated cardboard, which is May's challenge. I also used some corrugated cardboard for some texture. Um, some acrylic background, some pastel, oil pastel crayons to play with and some napkins that are not quite dry yet. So very, very fun piece to play with. Good morning. Yes, it's dark o'clock. I made a collage yesterday, so I have all of these extra pieces of paper on my workspace this morning. And of course, I don't have the heart to throw them away, so I am going to glue them onto this uh, repurposed canvas. I helped with a purging job yesterday, so I have all of these uh, goodies from my collage and a canvas that I'm going to repurpose, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start gluing these scraps onto the canvas. Not giving it too much thought, just covering the space. Look at all these beautiful things. I have the camera lifted up, so hopefully we can... Coffee. Morning coffee. So that we can uh, see the progress here. And I'll bring you back as we make some progress. And as you can see, if it's on my desk, <laughs> it is not safe. Everything's going on. And here's our corrugated cardboard for the May challenge. Work that into the project today. <clears throat> All right, we have some gorgeous underpants on there. We're going to let that dry. All right, my desk looks much, much better. Thank you so much. And I've got some gorgeous underpants on here, and we are going to let that dry. So I have all the underpants on. I've got some saran wrap or some plastic wrap here. I'm going to grab... I think I'm going to grab this cobalt teal. If I had a huge palette knife, I'd be using that, but I don't. So I'm going to be using a credit card. And I'm just going to be spreading this on kind of thick. And then I'm going to go in with the plastic.
and we'll let that dry. All right, I am taking the green gold, which is not as dense as that turquoise or the teal. And I'm just going to put some of that around and come in with my credit card and just smoosh that around. I'm going to bring a paper towel in and blot some of that away. Patricia's sitting next to me. She's being quite quiet. You want to say hey, Patricia? No. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> I am taking the paper towel that has the paint on it and I am just going around the edges of the canvas so that they're picking up a little bit of paint too. Remember this is a repurposed canvas so it already had some paint on it. So we're just blending that in. Now this is a blue hue. Bring in a bit of a circle maker with the blue. And let that dry. All right, I'm going to put some gesso on my workspace because now it is And I'm just going to put some bubble wrap around on the background. Now since May is our corrugated cardboard month, we are going to add some yellow paint with the texture of the corrugated cardboard. There is corrugated cardboard on the background as well, but we're going to use it. For All right, I made a template of a man. I'm just going to push it down there. I'm sure there's some wet paint there that's going to hold that down, and if we pull it up and it pulls up some of that paint, I am okay with that. I'm going to take some Van Dyke Brown Hue, put some of that on my workspace. I am going to add some water with my brush so that it's not too concentrated and I'm just going to paint over that background. And we're going to let that dry just like that. I'm going to go around the edge here and just darken the edge with that. Wherever it needs it. It doesn't have to be real neat. Okay, I dried this with the paper in place because I thought I was going to sand it. But when we lift this off, that is pretty incredible. All right, to just take this one step further, I have a yellow-green uh, pastel, oil pastel, and I'm just going inside the silhouette to just kind of uh, define that a little bit more. So I've gone around the head. I really like the way it brings it out. So I just thought I'd bring you along. So I found this napkin with some butterflies on it. So I'm just going to put Mod Podge in his head area. And then I'm going to put the napkin down and a little bit of Mod Podge on the top. I'm going to let that dry and then I'll just rip that off. Wherever it, stick, wherever it sticks, it sticks. I'm just going to put Mod Podge over the top of those butterflies. Keep everybody down. Very nice and ragged edge. Love that. And let it dry. And then I'm going to put the rest of the butterflies down in this area. Butterflies in the stomach, maybe? Maybe. Mm-hmm, right? 
And just some Mod Podge down, napkin down, Mod Podge on top of the napkin. The Mod Podge will dry clear so you'll be able to see right through the napkins. So I added those. Uh, I just really had fun just finishing this piece, adding more and adding more and adding more. So it's never done till it's done. All right, your turn. Go create, go play, go have fun.